Will you get a job? We can't get jobs, but we can get jobs. I have a job. The Irish. Bring all their troubles over here again. Aye, it's all right when it happens over in Belfast. You fucking prick. I've seen people killed in front of my fucking eyes. You stupid fucking prick. Go home. Fuck you. May please. Music are sitting there too long. CB. Charlie's book. What's me? I thought the shoot just happened. <laughs> right, that's my fucking name, sir. You can write what you like. <laughs> I'm the one who planted the guilt for bomb, Mr. Conlon. Did you tell the police that? Yes, I did. But we haven't heard it down. You just wait to see what he has to say, Don. Go on. I told them. They know. They know the truth. They can't afford to face it. It's a war. You're one of its innocent victims. I'm sorry for your trouble. You don't be sorry for us. You just be sorry for the people you killed. It was a military target. The soldiers put. They were innocent people. God's children. Look, I'll do all I can to help you while you're in here. But we don't need your help. The fucking stairs are killing him. It's not the stairs that are killing your father, Jerry. Why, what is it now? It's your lack of faith. Jerry Conlon it was taken by Mr. Dixon one month after Jerry Conlon was arrested. This note was attached to it when I found it in police files. It reads not to be shown to the defense. I have one question to ask you, Mr. Dixon. Why was the alibi for Jerry Conlon, who was charged with the murder of five innocent people,